Here we are at the start of the second day in the FIDE World Rapid Team Championship here in Dieseldorf. And joining us uh, for the first interview of the day is Ahmed Adli from the Team Africa. Ahmed, thank you very much for finding the time. First of all, let me ask you, how are you finding Dieseldorf? How are things here in general? Thank you for this introduction and thanks to FIDE office and FIDE team. I mean, this wonderful events, it gathers us and it, it makes sure that we are all one nation. Uh, we are really enjoying it so much here. The organizing committee is doing a really great job and organization is very nice. Uh, and it's a real honor to participate in such event. Three days, four rounds each day, it's, it's a bit tense. How, what do you think about the tempo of play? And obviously the structure, it's a bit different. You have a female player, female board, you have an amateur player board six. Do you think we should have more events in chess like this and experiment more with the formats? What do you think about this? I believe such events gives more chances to more uh, and more opportunities to uh, youngsters, to females, to males, to e every chess player, every chess lover to participate and to enjoy it. I mean, when you are a youth, for example, and you see all those world champions playing here, I mean, it gives you an opportunity, it gives you a, a measure that you want to reach uh, and a dream to continue, to keep your track on to reach your dreams I mean you want to be like them in the future so and how, how are the dreams in Team Africa how's the motivation how's the team spirit what are your ambitions here well team spirit is wonderful I mean we are enjoying it here so much uh, I mean we was playing today on board seven against a very strong team I mean this is very well uh, you just had a very tough game at Caruana right yeah, but I lost against Fabiano a few minutes ago. I was completely winning, but okay, I missed the tab at some moment. Uh, but anyway, it feels good. I mean, we are doing well. Although, although this is not as even first team, not second team, not third team of Africa. Uh, unfortunately, we had some uh, troubles uh, regarding the visa issues uh, and issuing visa for players before the tournament. So many players couldn't reach, so couldn't be able to uh, be here. So we had to choose whoever ready to uh, participate and to be uh, to arrive on time in the tournament. But however, all my teammates, I'm really uh, honored to play with them. I mean, they are doing their effort and they're doing great. And it's a real good opportunity to represent Africa, our con our beloved continent. So speaking about Africa, what's happening with chess in Africa? What's the status of it? What's what are what's on the horizon? Well, to say the truth, in the past, um, chess didn't find uh, a huge space in Africa. Lately, we are seeing too many events. Uh, uh, the space of chess is really uh, increasing so much. Uh, too many players already are getting in, too many events are happening, so I believe we are uh, developing, so it's developing lately uh, so much and we have way more dreams to achieve, of course. And where would you say chess is most developed in Africa? Is it in the north, in Egypt, in countries like Egypt, Tunisia or somewhere else? Well, uh, uh, hard to say, Every, everywhere it's developing, um, I mean, okay, in the past, it used to be only uh, uh, north, okay. Uh, but now I can say everywhere it's developing. I mean, we can see some very nice events in Zambia, in Nigeria, in South Africa. We can, you can see also events happening in, in Algeria, in Tunisia. Everywhere it's happening. So uh, in Sudan, also. I mean, it's wonderful. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really honored to be part of it actually to help with that. So. It's an interesting time to be part of African chess. Obviously, in just after Dieseldorf, a few days time, you have the African Championship uh, or being organized in uh, Egypt, in your home country. So how is that all going? Well, it's exhausting, but it's fun. It's so much fun. I mean, come on, I can tell you, in the past, the highest record of African Youth Chess Championship participants was 260. This year, uh, we are, uh, I am responsible and I'm the tournament director and uh, head of organizing committee and we are organizing it with 450 participants instead of 260, the, the highest record ever before. So I mean, it's a, break, uh, it's a record break of course, so uh, I hope it will succeed, everyone will enjoy it in Egypt of course, but more important, I hope more uh, engagement in chess. So. 
Finally, when do you think Africa will have a world champion in chess? When will have when we will ha when will we have a world champion coming from Africa? Uh, uh, I am former world junior champion. Is that enough? <laughs> okay, uh, I was in 2007 when world junior champion. But to see a world champion, and uh, yeah, I mean for junior and youth, very soon, hopefully within five years maximum, I might expect some champions from cadets and youth uh, from. Like men and women, I think we need some more time and more work, way more work. Okay, well, thank you very much and the best of luck and good luck with everything here and in, in Egypt coming. Thank thanks. you so much. Thanks to you and thanks to FIDA. Thank you.